Hi, my name is Ellen Heed and I'm here to talk to you about a practitioner training I've designed called Beyond Asana. What I've noticed in the years that I've been teaching anatomy to yoga teachers is that yoga teachers are often hungry for more after their first 200 hour training. How can they get from the mechanics of talking through what is a pose and what does it do for you to a fuller notion of what healing really is. People can do a lot as yoga teachers and change people's lives through teaching asana, but to go beyond asana is to make the bridge from being a yoga teacher to being a more multifaceted healer. And I'm here to give the crib note version in the three workshops that are part of the Beyond Asana training of how you make that bridge, how you walk over the bridge from teaching to healing. The first part of the series is called Body Work Skills for Yoga Professionals. And this will be a workshop, a 30 hour, four day residential workshop where we learn body work skills about how to assess the emotional body, how to define the emotional body and what to do to help people resolve unconscious emotional material that they're holding in their muscles. I've been asked, what is the emotional body? The emotional body is our psyche. It's our unconscious mind. From my perspective, this is the psyche. This is where our unprocessed emotions live. Our unexamined beliefs live in the tissues of our flesh. That's why in certain poses that we do, in pigeon pose, in bridge, during abdominal work, working in standing poses, or in hip openers, or twists, certain people who have problems of unexamined emotions held in their musculature get emotional. It comes up. I have had students in my practice who will just burst into tears every time they come into bridge pose, for instance, and wonder what's going on there. Why does this pose really provoke me in that way? We'll be examining particular kinds of emotional material that's held in certain muscle groups. So of course there's anatomy as part of this training. Then after the anatomy, there's a notion of release. We work with hands-on technique in this training in order to teach you how to tease up emotion in the body and then how to allow it to resolve. Some of the techniques that we'll be using in this class and that I'll be teaching come from the traditions of Shiatsu, the traditions of cranial sacral therapy, the traditions of deep tissue and myofascial release technique. So everything from Ida Rolf to Wilhelm Reich to ancient traditions of oriental medicine and bodywork techniques to cranial osteopathy is included in the toolbox that I'll be teaching you for each holding place in the body. I work with a system of understanding that there are 12 trap doors into the unconscious mind through different muscle groups in the body. And we learn to identify each of those muscle groups, where it's located, what kind of emotions are held there, exactly what techniques are the best way to tease up those emotions and then bring them to a resolution that creates and facilitates transformation in your client or your student. People are struggling in the economy that we have now as yoga teachers. The market becomes more and more saturated each year with each new graduating class of yoga teacher. And in Los Angeles, what I notice, this is the city where I live, it's getting harder and harder to find a job as a yoga instructor at a, at a studio. Let's face it, when we're in the yoga world where we make the majority of our income, is not through teaching asana class, it's through one-on-one -on -one work with private clients. I'm here to enrich the work with private clients in a way that provides reliable, deep relationships with your clients that are getting so much value from what you have to offer because you're taking them into a state of deeper embodiment each time you work together, each time you work and choose a new set of muscles and emotional release points to explore, your client is getting more of a grounded relationship in their body, coming to terms with unexamined beliefs that inhibit their spiritual and emotional growth. I want to give you the tools to excel as a private practitioner 
and to make a comfortable living and a good living, knowing full well that you're providing immense value for your clients and taking them where they want to go.